Saturday, September 27th, 2008. 92708. Who is Justine? Share this. The following information was given to me on 92078. This is the third posting to Mark's Corner. I strongly suggest you read the earlier postings first. It is my pleasure to be back with you again. After our communication of two days ago, you asked me to describe my civilization and myself. I am happy to do that for you. Like you I am an embodied spirit. I have a physical body with legs and arms and a head. I have two eyes, a nose, and mouth. I breathe, but our air is not like yours. I am somewhat taller than you, but with a body that you would not find unpleasant to gaze upon. I have a mouth for consuming food. I have fingers like you on my hands. I am a male. We procreate just like you do here on Earth. In my society, we are together as male and female for many years, although we do not measure time in a rigid manner like you do on Earth. Our planet is substem of the star system Altair, the name for our sun as previously given to your people. Ours is an advanced form of physical civilization, somewhat similar to that into which you will find yourselves in the near future. We have a duality between those who operate from love and those who function from fear, but it is nothing like what you have on Earth. We are no longer enslaved by the darkness that invaded Earth and that has invaded other planets. The dark energy of which I speak seeks out planets of interest and determines whether those who inhabit them are susceptible to invasion. If an opening is detected it rushes in and begins to assume control. More about that at another time. I am a leader of my people in the sense that I am a representative who has been designated to come to your world. I am here to tell you our story so that you might know that those who wish to assist Earth are of good intent. My planet Substem is very beautiful, particularly now since it has been freed from the darkness. Restoring its beauty happened quite quickly after it was released. I am sure the same will be true for Earth. We have land upon which we walk, and water in which we swim. It is quite beautiful with trees, and other growing things. The land is flat with few mountains, such as you have on Earth. I find your mountain quite beautiful in a rugged sort of way. On my planet we have much fertile land for growing all manner of food. We cultivate the land in many ways, both by hand, because it is satisfying, and by mechanism, because it is more efficient. However we do not disturb the land so much as does your modern mechanized equipment. We are one with the land, and it yields for us in great abundance. We have a wide variety of what you call produce. Picture a very gentle place of people walking and taking of an almost idyllic society. Today that is so, but it was not always the case. In times past we had our great conflicts. However we did not enter into an era of mechanized conflict such as you have here in Earth. Ours were limited to great physical battles between races. We had the whites and the blacks. The white race was planted by the Pleiadians, the black by Syrians. All newer planets are seeded from the older races. In our case, it was to mesh the black and the white into a new race. Earth was populated by four races. Eventually we tired of conflict and told our leaders to stop. Ours was not as controlled a sphere as is Earth. 
The situation here is managed by the darkness for its own ends. As far as we can tell, the rule of the darkness is in the final days, weeks. Back to our planet, we have been given the knowledge of how to create vehicles to transport. We tap into the universal energy. It is everywhere for our use. Everyone on my planet is tapped into the universal network that pervades my entire planet. When we wish to communicate with another we merely set up an intention to do so. If the other wishes to respond a connection is made and we communicate. I am one of the surface dwellers. There are others who dwell beneath the surface. They appear much different. They have a civilization that is more developed than mine. It is much older. None of them have traveled to be here during Earth's transition. Another reason we are here is to bring energy crystals to your planet. They will be of assistance to everyone during your transition time. Once again, I emphasize that we are here. I am not alone on my giant craft, to show that we are your peaceful brothers and sisters, that other planets have made the transition to the light, and to provide our energy to assist the great transformation of Earth. I am Justine of the planet Substem of the Altarian star system. I leave you with my blessing. That's it for today folks. In truth, love and joy. Mark Kimmel. Labels. Civilization. Duality. Justine. Pleiadians. Syrians. Substem. Permalink.